This is the heart of Grand Canyon. It's like an onion and the layers are coming off as you're hiking into the canyon. By the time you get to Phantom, I'm just joyful. You really get how special life is and sacred this canyon is. Phantom Ranch is located at the bottom of Grand Canyon along the Colorado River. It's the trail junction where the three main corridor trails, we call them, meet. The South Kaibab, the Bright Angel, and the North Kaibab trails. Millions of people visit the rims every year, but only about 1% of our visitors stay overnight here at Phantom Ranch. Typically, people when they come to the west perhaps want to climb to the top of a mountain. Well, here at Grand Canyon, it's the reverse. They want to reach the bottom. In fact, I like to tell people when they ask about my career and my journey down here that I've made my way down the ladder to arrive at Phantom Ranch. And in a way, it's the same thing with our visitors. For them to come to the bottom is the experience that they're looking for. It is water, more than anything else, that has drawn people to this specific location for the last 1,000 or 1,200 years or so. The Fred Harvey Company and Mary Coulter designed the cabins, Phantom Ranch, in 1922. Coulter designed her cabins to blend in. She wanted this place to speak for itself. I think that Phantom is her crown jewel of, of, uh, at the Grand Canyon and maybe even in the Southwest. Mary Jane Coulter is such a big part of Phantom Ranch. You could say she's on the staff. Coulter built these cabins and, and started to draw a new kind of audience into the bottom of Grand Canyon. The wealthiest of the tourists, authors, artists, oil and steel magnets, people that could afford a trip to travel by train from the East Coast, then to ride the mules to the bottom of Grand Canyon, stay multiple weeks on end down here. In the 1930s, President Franklin Roosevelt formed what was called the Civilian Conservation Corps. Camp 818 worked here at Phantom Ranch, improving trails and campgrounds, and providing an experience for hikers that we still have today. Hikers, backpackers, mule riders experience this place not a whole lot different than some of our earliest tour operators did. To arrive at Phantom Ranch, there are really only three ways down here on their own two feet ride one of the rafts. People can ride a mule down, so ride on somebody else's feet instead. And the mule ride is no easier than the hike. Mule riders, when they arrive here, are just as tired and sore as the hikers are. Hi folks, welcome to Phantom Ranch. Mules have always been a tradition at Phantom, and we could not exist without them. Almost everything that comes in and out of Phantom comes in by mule, goes out by mule. Our postcards are stamped with a unique mailed by mule from the bottom of the Grand Canyon at Phantom Ranch sticker. It, yeah, it's never gotten old. The art of postcard writing is alive and well down here. Many people are drawn to Phantom Ranch because of the comforts that are down here. This is a great place for an introductory backpacking experience. 
This isn't as rustic as it once was, but for many people today, it is the first time they've ever had a backpacking or backcountry experience. So often here at Grand Canyon, hikers have the uh, tendency to overestimate their abilities and underestimate Grand Canyon. We cannot stress enough the idea of hiking smart in the summer. Hike smart means start early on, on your hike or start late. Avoid the heat of the day. Take advantage of water when you find it and you'll have a much nicer hike. It'll treat you the way you treat it if you treat the canyon with respect. The canyon will respect you right back. If you disrespect it, it'll kick you right in the butt. The canyon doesn't like to be harmed. I mean, it's live. It's, it's a breathing organism. Every day at the ranch, is, it's a new experience, it's a new adventure uh, for the people that come and for us, the ranchers. We take care of the people that come here and the people that come here are very special people. Phantom Ranch is so special to me because of the people that come down here. The backpackers, the mule riders, the staff that works down here. There's definitely a connection with people in the canyon. A lot of walls just immediately go down. At Phantom, it really doesn't get any better than this. And this is really, really good. While we're having this experience at Phantom Ranch, we forget about what goes on everywhere else. We don't have cell phones to connect us or the internet. What we have to connect us, though, is the past. All those people that came before us, we're sort of, in a way, following in their footsteps and continuing their legacy, too. We want the next people that come down here to have an enjoyable experience, just like we're having right now.